What up, everyone? My name is Preston Pablo, and today I'm joined with Rob from the band Valley, and I'm going to be teaching Preston how to play Yellow by the band Coldplay. Let's see how it goes. Let's go! So, I've heard we're, we're learning some guitar today, but That's I feel like you're a better Ooh, player so than me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> when did you, like, when did you start playing guitar? Was guitar like your first instrument? So, I actually started playing the drums first. Sick. But guitar was something my brother played. Cool. So there was guitars all around the house. Right. And when I stopped playing drums, I just kind of picked up the guitar. So I brought a song in today, unless you want to learn something else. Or I'm, I'm good to roll with your song, um, bro. So what's, what's the song? The song that I brought in is, is called Yellow by Coldplay. You might okay. have heard of it. It's kind of a deep cut. I've definitely heard side. of it. Yellow is just a fun one because it's, it's the first like we alternate tuning I learned. It's not really an alternate okay. tuning, but it's like standard, but you just turn, tune your E down. Higher, lower? Oh no, you're good, you're good there. Here, I can, yeah. oh, yeah. I can show you here. You got this Lesson guy. one, tune your guitar. I know, tune. I should know the note, but uh. When did you start playing guitar? I started pretty late, like in high school, because I played like violin and piano, and then um, that wow, wasn't cool, so obviously, because I remember in grade eight being like made fun of her playing violin. How was that though? I've heard it's like a really challenging. It's hard. To play. I mean, nowadays I'll like it helps me like arrange strings and stuff for songs, and it's fun. Okay, but that's cool, yeah. at the time it just wasn't cool because like all my mm -hmm. friends were like playing Blink One Eight Two. There we go. So the thing I love about know. this tuning is yeah. it's basically standard with this E just like hangs here so you get this really like beautiful chimey. Yeah, it already sounds so nice. It's so beautiful and um, I use this like chord shape on like a lot of stuff so mm -hmm. basically the beauty of the song is like you never change your chord shape. It just moves around. So it's basically you're just doing like an A, you can either do an A bar chord with like holding it down or you can do a wrap round where it's just like... Wow, that's, crazy. that's a crazy. So it's line. like if you even just do an A bar chord. Little friends out, that's a six rat. Yeah, yeah. A bar chord. Oh, there you go. One up. One up. Yeah. There you go. One more. There we go. So you have that, and then it's the same shape, just going down to to the second. Am I right? Part. Yeah. Yeah. And then an E major chord, which is just taking off the oh, index. Oh, that's so crazy. You got that pinky on your third string and your B string. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Here, let's lost. try it again. Yeah, okay. and then middle finger on the G string. There we go. Ah, uh, there you go. Woo! Ah, it's so chimey. Okay, it's so good. Now we're there. And then same shape, just on the second fret. And then E major, which That's is just so lifting crazy. off the index and just doing that. Uh, right here. Woo! Wow. Sheesh. Just like that. So once you kind of figure out the chord changes, you can kind of get the progression of yellow, which is just. So it starts, then. Go. It's a second fret? Yeah. Hey. Wow, so nice. How do you do yeah, that? Teach me that little... Uh... I'm doing that shape, but instead of the index, I'm doing my thumb over so I can have that room for the pinky to go. And your pinky's... Just hammering on what string? What string? Uh, on the uh, G string. <laughs> oh shit. There you go, you got it. Your own like flair of it. What I love about that song is it's just like pretty much three chords. The only time where it really changes is in the chorus. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. So I just move this up a fret? Yep, so chorus starts there, minor. And then same one you did earlier, just that second fret. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's so hard. Like I use this chord progression or like these types of chords mm. all the time. I love doing like open chimey stuff. So, mm. uh, I mean, you can play your song with it too. Need you like flowers. Wow. Yeah, it kind of has that. 
It's a whole different vibe. That's crazy. You can you can have really fun with it. I always like like to pick with it because it has that chiminess. And then if you have like a capo, it sounds like really cool up here. I'm sitting over here. Like, <laughs> oh no, dude. Try to figure you it out. try it again? So yeah. Let's let's try let's and get a nice Just do like the intro, what the verse is. So. Okay. Oh, you know how to go. We did it, dude. Just like that. I'm a guitar player. Snazzy. These chords are actually so beautiful. They're so yeah. nice. You can write like a million songs with this. How often do you like, do you write every day? What's your like? Uh, I try to write every day, but yeah. it doesn't usually happen. I'm honestly not, I find I'm, I write my best songs when I have like a little bit of time in between. The biggest thing I learned is like, even if you like, write down one lyric concept or yeah. one title, then you, you've been successful. And like sometimes yeah. I think people just like put so much pressure. It's like, oh, I need to write a full song today. It's like, yeah. no, like get somewhere and like, don't don't pressure yourself. Be the best you can be. 100%. Right. One more thing I want to ask yeah. you about just touring in general. So I, like when I started singing a lot, like mm. consistently, I noticed my, like I was having issues with my voice, just yeah. like s sustaining like a, a strong voice. Yeah. How is that like for you? The big thing for me when I lose my voice is like I just, Literally go on Volcrest, don't talk. Yeah. I use a lot of Manuka honey. Like okay. I put Manuka honey in I tea. Yeah. I do a lot of steaming. Yeah. And then, you know, if you can get a massage or just like relax yeah. your body, go for a walk, um, those things help me. Yeah, you're, you're, I can't wait to see you like play live and tour and everything. Right? You're gonna, you're gonna I can't wait for you to see it as well. Oh, man. dude, I can't wait. Love to have you out. All right, well, Rob, thank you so much for Hell coming yeah. out and teaching me. We did it. I feel like we'll, we'll do this again. We'll, I'll uh, be better. We live in the neighborhood. You're in the neighborhood now, so we'll yeah. go get some pizza. Yeah. You'll come over. We'll work on the chords a little more, and then we're gonna snap back with our yellow 100%. cover. We'll it's be back. Be you heard it here first. Epic. Thanks we'll for having me. This was really nice. Thank you so I much. Love talking to you.